morning. It's match day. AFC Bournemouth today entertain Aston Villa in a must-win game for both sides, apparently. At Dean Court, the weather is absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait for the new season to begin. Look, if you're new to the channel, you're a Villa fan. We're a Bournemouth fan channel and we do vlogs for every single Cherries game. So why not get our perspective on the Premier League? There's a button below. Click it. It's to subscribe. If you don't want to do that, giving a thumbs up would sincerely help us, if not. So, breaking news. I can't actually go to today's game. Honestly, I did all 46 last season. Today, I'm at a wedding. So, Tiggs has got the camera today. He's going to take you through events at Dean Court. He's also going to do the full-time fan cams as well. So... Please let it be a win. If it is, actually, you might not want me back. Either way, come on, Tixi, do it for Bournemouth. Yeah, thanks for that, Sammy. Yes, I'm up, ready to go. Uh, Tixi takeover day today, so uh, gonna take you through my day. Let's have some fun and hopefully, three points for the cherries. Have the cheers. <laughs> Here we go then, Cherries fans, gonna start my match day, gonna drive over to the Broadway pub, see what's going on over there. And then from there, we'll head across to DC, Dean Court, to get ready to enjoy the game and catch up with some people up in the 1910. Have a cheers. Right, I am the Broadway with Sean and Josh. So, this season then, how are we feeling? Today. Um, I'd like to say I'm feeling confident, <laughs> but I just I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want us to turn into a Norwich up and down yo-yo club. Really. Every prediction has a spot on every single one. I probably put a spot on at the moment. Um, so anything else is a bonus. But I, I don't know. It's weird because we on paper like the team isn't that bad. So yeah, not 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 the highest expectations. But you know, just see what we do in the next couple of weeks. Good vibes. Low expectations. Really yeah. 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 Let's start the season on a high. Aim low, yeah. anything better is always a positive. Well, I mean, the thing is, yeah. everyone is, everyone's kind of tips us to, to, to kind of finish rock bottom, don't they? And, yeah. and yeah. not do so well. So if we, if we keep the expectations low, we've got, we got a better chance. Yeah. Up the cherries yeah. then, yeah. fellas. Up the cherries. <laughs> so here I am at Kings Park, heading over to the stadium now. Uh, that was interesting, wasn't it? Listening to the guys in a the pub there. Um, a lot of trepidation that sort of echoes quite a lot of uh, Bournemouth fans I think how they're feeling about the season and everything but that, it's hard to to not expect that when you you look at kind of what's going on in terms of the media and things and pretty much everyone and their dog has got us uh, finishing rock bottom haven't they so you can kind of understand the, uh, the pessimism or is it just one of those things you know you prepare yourself for for that and then whatever comes could be a lovely surprise hopefully a lovely surprise waiting for us today of three points off we go. Uh, here I am with Jeff. Jeff, great to see you, buddy. Yeah, good to see you too, Tiggs. Best way to start the season with your face, I would admit. I've been looking forward to seeing you. Feels like a long time, doesn't it? It, it does feel like a long time, and uh, the championship feels a long way away because uh, we're in a different league, obviously, and I think it's going to be a bit tougher this season. Here I am with Steve. How are you doing, buddy? I'm very well, mate. Happy new season to you. Happy new season to you. I like that. What a lovely greeting. What a lovely way to start. Uh, how are you feeling about today, buddy? I'm excited. I'm excited, but act nervous at the same time. I think it's the same most seasons where you, you're not really too sure what to expect. I've seen quite a lot of pre-season. Uh, I've said this before. I didn't think it was overly. It didn't fill me with you know, massive amounts of confidence. We've changed to a new system. That to me needs a bit of work still. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting. It's exciting at the same time. No one knows how Villa are going to, you know, show up. They're going to be like 
yesterday I was uh, I was sat at home listening to my radio, and whose voice should I hear? But yours. You were on yeah. Sony last night. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes. <laughs> but you weren't singing, which is a shame. No, no. shame. Uh, you were on Sony last night. Tell me how that went. You know, what was the general feel there? Yeah, I had a good chat with Adam Blackmore, Villa fan. Just FYI. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, I, I, I think a dose of realism. You know, we shouldn't get too carried away with how we played going up last season, but. Premier League, I think Scott Parker's way of playing is possibly a bit better for the Premier League. You know, he's going to sit back and, and try and hit teams on the counter, which we couldn't really do a lot last season. Um, whether we have the players to do that or not is the, is the missing thing, really. I know, I, I, I've yet to be convinced. So, I mean, with great teams, we haven't seen who's going to be playing yet. No. We're early. Uh, but do you want to give a little prediction? Uh, what, 14? No, no, score. Oh, score, sorry. Um, I, 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 Adam said to me last night, he said, we're going to sneak this 2-1. Mm. Late goal in the 90th minute. Adam, what was your, little, what was your score prediction? 2-1 to us. 2-1. 2-1. Yeah. Team Hensman going 2-1? Yeah, we're going 2-1. Right, Tom, we've got team news. Surprising, mate. Surprising. It looks 3-5-2 uh, from where I'm looking at it. So it looks like Lerma's in that back three with Meppham and Kelly. Smith's and wing backs. But surprisingly, that midfield three. Billing, Tavernier, Ben Pearson. Then this. And then a two up top of Slanky and Moore. Whoa. So Lewis Cook's on the bench, so he's fit, he's been dropped if you like. And along with Christie, Anthony, they're all on the bench. So we tried that pre season at all? No. I don't think so. So he's obviously trying to surprise and get two set of forwards up there, but. I don't mind it, I'm surprised with Pearson. Yeah. In the sense that in that last friendly, he said Pearson out to the development squad. So to start him over Lewis Cook is weird. Yeah. But maybe he's thinking if I'm moving Lerma to the back, I need a bit of a destroyer in midfield, maybe. But good to have the likes of Lewis Cook, Jane Adley, Ryan Christie available for the bench. So yeah, I mean it is what it is, but I'm happy that more and slacking up top. Who knows? I mean, we're currently, currently Fulham would beating Liverpool. So things can happen, things, things can happen. happen. So yeah, two up top, we'll see what happens, but a little bit surprised, a little bit surprised. I'm hoping Pearson will, there's a big, big chance for people like Pearson to have an air today. Tavernier can't have had many training sessions, never played for us. And Pearson, like I say, was ditched off to the development squad, so strange but very interesting. Let's see what happens, man. See what happens. Two nil. Two nil. Yeah, I'm confident now, let's have it. Come on. I would be I would be absolutely thrilled if we get a point um, because we need we need to get on the board with this game because the next three I think are going to be really tough and uh, yeah so I'm going for a, a, a one one that's what I'm going for one one I'll take that thanks a lot I'm a cheers. I'm here in my favourite cup of coffee in town. Uh, this, is, I, this is why I sit in the Ted Mac, you know that? For your coffee. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, it's one of the best. And you guys have been here for a few seasons now. Okay. A long mate. Oh, yeah, six years. Two, two visits to the championship. Yeah. Which is quite great, but yeah, it's still here. That's good. Uh, what do you think? What do you think this is? Like, very pessimistic. Everyone I've spoken to so far, not feeling amazing about the season. Yeah, what, what are you guys? Think? We're saying interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be tough. A couple more players, and it could make a difference, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. At the moment, it seems a bit, a bit thin on the ground. So. <laughs> and your coffee is fantastic. Where else can we get your coffee? Uh, uh, it's here on Ted Mac. But... Deli Rocks. Yeah. In Southbourne, Little Pippin in Boscombe, Vesuvio Alan Chai. Harry's Cafe down in Southbourne as well. There's a few local ones sort of around the Boston. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Well, I am with uh, Ollie. Yeah. yeah, good to see you, Ollie. Uh, now, an interesting team lineup today. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's one that's not expected just to how we're going to fit into that new formation, to be fair. I think Pearson in the middle gives me confidence, but. I would have liked seeing Cook in there instead of Billy, especially with a two. But yeah. More into Lanky is exciting. I think we might go for it. We just see Fulham go at Liverpool. Who knows? We might, might take it to him. Okay, we're here with Adrian and Steve. Uh, Adrian, I went to school with. Steve's my cousin. So, guys, what, what do you think of today's game? Um, it's an unknown, really. It's an unknown, really. I'm quizzical about the lineup. Yeah. Where has that come from? Yeah. Um, I get it's probably the formations right, but. No Lewis Kirk. 
No less good. When Pearce at the back in, in the Premier League, have you really got to? Do you think? Do you think maybe the fact he's got five subs to play with has affected his choice of a, a starting eleven? Maybe I suppose because if it goes wrong. <laughs> he can change it. He can do what he should do in the first place and put Lewis Cook on. <laughs> it's not going to be anyhow gung ho, though, is it? It's, it's, be... it's not. It's going to be cautious. Cautious, very cautious. Practical. Practical. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. That's a better way. Yes. Uh, that's what you've got to do, I think, against you know all these top teams. Yeah, exactly. So, prediction, Steve, what do you reckon? Nil nil. Nil nil. Optimistic. One all. One one. Yeah. After, after going behind. And then the crowd getting on top, getting all moany, moany, and then something happening out of the blue, I think. Okay, but I'll I take think, that. I think that's about my. Excellent, thanks, Caps. Thank you, Caps. Brilliant. Right, Jeff, we're, we're minutes away now. How are you feeling? I'm not sure it's excitement. It's more, it is uh, quite a bit of trepidation, but yeah. Yeah, no, looking forward to seeing a, a higher level of football this season, so. May football be the winner, Ticks. May football be the winner. <laughs> Bit of status quo going now for Trabs. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. It's pretty, it feels like the season's barely ended. You know, we're, we're back here again. Back here again. Back here again. Have a cherries, come on. We... Signs are good, but uh, I think Villa have underestimated us actually. Adam Smith almost had a chance there, didn't he? He did, he did. He, he, he's close and um, Dom before close. I mean, we're, we're threatening with, with the, the, the fast sort of break that we're, we're executing on them. So, yeah. We seem to be nicking the ball from them in quite dangerous areas, would you say? Very much so, very much so. I mean, ben Pearson's has played well, the, 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 um, that back five looks relatively okay at the moment. I mean, Villa have had a couple of chances, but um, even when they, they do get through, Travis has made a couple of decent saves. So, all, all in all, so far, so good. So far, so good, Cherries. Very tense. Very tense. For Stephen Gerrard preparing Villa for this game, this is not the lineup he was expecting because it's not the lineup that anyone was expecting. No, nobody was expecting it. Pearson's having a fantastic game. I think if he can stay on the pitch for another 15, 20 minutes and then get Lewis Cook onto a fresh that ball is very critical and is doing really well at the moment in breaking up play. Getting a little bit niggly this game. Getting, right, getting niggly. There might be more cards. Oh. Yeah. So. When Diaz come on and he's he's causing us some issues, finding some space in between the, the midfield and the, the back five and making some quite challenging runs for our defence. They've also got more space on the wings. So. Yeah, they get a lot more space on the wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just got to keep the shape, keep tight, keep working, and um, and yeah, hopefully keep them out because they still haven't had a shot. And we're uh, nearly 15 minutes into this half, so we're still still doing well defensively. Just a little note on uh, what Scott Parker's wearing today, Jeff. He's gone for a very uh, kind of traditional shirt and tie combo. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sartorially. It's looking pretty elegant, I've got to say. But uh, yeah, yeah. 
I thought he might <laughs> he might be in a short sleeve, but he's gone long sleeve. Gone long sleeve, best dress manager in the Premier League. Indeed. Indeed. You can hear the atmosphere, it's getting a little, getting bit, a little bit touchy. A little bit touchy. Unexpected. I'll have to do the fan cams now, see what everyone else thinks. Uh, but uh, yeah, very happy man. Three points on a sunny, sunny ball of afternoon. What result that was? Very unexpected, to be fair, but um, only because, really, when you think about it, you kind of start to believe the hype, don't you? Everyone in the, in the world is saying that Bournemouth haven't got a chance this season, Bournemouth haven't got to do well, Villa look really strong, and you just start to believe it, you start to buy into it. People talk about the lack of transfer business. But then you think, well, okay, maybe there is a factor in that, but there's also a factor in the fact that, you know, these players who come up from the Championship, they've got a point to prove. Parker's got a point to prove. In fact, everyone at Bournemouth has got a point to prove, and I think that's kind of what they tried to do today really well battled, really well fought, really determined and look if we go into games looking like that, playing like that, we've got a really good chance and also that's the sort of performance that's going to get, get fans on side all season. Now obviously it's not going to be as, you know, as straightforward against some other teams, not that that was by any means straightforward, it took a lot of hard work and a, a lot of commitment but you know if you can go into most of them playing like that then we got a real good chance I think Tom just said a quick word with Tom before I left and he was like you know anyone really mid-table Premier League below if you give them a fight you have a chance sometimes it's not about the team on the paper sometimes it's about the 11 bodies on the pitch and how much how much they're willing to give in their kind of one-on-ones and that's what we saw today so yeah really really pleased gonna drop this camera now over to Sam and he's going to work his editing magic. Yeah, fantastic. So anyway, uh, before I forget, please make sure that you uh, like this video, subscribe to our content for more, and uh, if you can, press the little bell thing, because that will let you know when we're coming with more. Thanks. Up the cherries.